Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we had to deal with some issues with our new uh, crude oil and refined oil line that's be feeding the uh, power plant. We sent all of the trains that were carrying coal home, and then uh, we did some upgrades of some older trains, and began working on... Um, connecting some more cities to the passenger network, which is what we're going to be continuing to work on today. So, I might as well go ahead and get to it. Now, off screen, I went ahead and did all the replacements for all of our buses, all of our trucks, and trams. So those are all taken care of, and it cost quite a bit of money and took quite a bit of time to do that, but that's all taken care of. And um, I'm probably going to have to go in there and reduce the number of trucks on all of our freight, uh, road freight lines because we just don't need as many as we have anymore because the trucks we currently have can carry quite a bit more than when we first created them. So I'll probably be cutting those lines down by a few trucks per, but that's something I'm going to also have to do off screen because, you know, that's going to take a while. I'm not going to spend an entire episode sitting here clicking through line after line after line and, you know, selling trucks. Um, so, we started here with Agrabah. So we got our roads all set up. We got the trams on there. So that is ready to go. Um, and now, we also got all the roads upgraded in this area. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. We still have a lot more road upgrading to do at some point. But we'll get around all that. So, let's go ahead and get everybody all set up. I think Lake Armstrong might be the easiest to do here. Because, I mean, there's pretty much already a, a nice spot to do a tram line. Because we'll just basically... Do that. It'd be a pretty small tram loop, but... I mean, it'll work for a start. And it's quick and easy. Alright, so Emerald City is going to be next. And this is just going to be a matter of extending these roads. Alright, new vehicles. Union Pacific Big Boy. Nice. NNWJ class. That looks nice. AM46 Gasturbinen locomotive. Okay. It's probably diesel. Alright, that's done. And now, Townsville. Got somewhat lumpy. See if we can smooth that out. There we go. Let's 
So you'll bring that through there. Extend this a little bit, and then bring that through there. And we got ourselves our loop. So let's go ahead and electrify. All right. So those guys are all ready for trams. So let's get all their uh, stations and depots and everything else. I don't think I need the extra large. The large should be perfectly fine. All right. Now what I was thinking is doing the bus lines through here and the trains through there, or it was the other way around, but that's what we're doing. We're doing the bus lines one way and trains the other. At least initially, anyway. Wait. Hold on. Missed a piece there. There we go. You know, I really want to put this right here. And there's two buildings in the way, which I don't care about. So we're going to go ahead and remove them. Oh, make sure that's electrified. Oh. Then we'll do our trams and our buses for depots. station I think we'll put it here road depot and tram depot City. Should be fairly straightforward to put it here. The station. There we are. And then the depots. Right there, work. And then for Townsville. Go ahead and we'll put the station. Oh, I've got a lot of hills going on over here. I'll put her there. Road. Depot there and tram depot right next to it. Actually, change of plans.
We'll put it a little bit further there to prevent uh, it from getting too lumpy. All right, so now we need to set up the actual tram loops uh, as far as stops go. All right, we'll put a stop there, we'll put a stop there, and there. One over there, and then that should cover that. This is the tram for oh. Agrippa. And half the town is covered by that particular station there. But we'll still throw in a few stops. Well, this is going to be a fairly short tram loop. Um, Actually, we need to go the other way. What in the world is it doing? Okay, we start here, right? And then we head around there to there. Oh, that's on the wrong side of the street, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh. Because we're going the opposite. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we need to move those to the other side of the road. See, now that's better. There we go. All right. So for here, just gonna wing in some stops. That one may be superfluous. In fact, I think it probably is. So I'll just go ahead and remove it. for Emerald City. And then finally, Townsville. That guy all set up. All right, 
So that's all the tram lines. So now you need to put the trams on there. Which even those these, I think we're going to go ahead and go with the Pittsburghs for all these because that's a cheaper tram. It's better than oh our auto saving. Uh, it's, it's better than these, not as good as that, but you know, these are just first setting up. So I'm going to go ahead and go with these Pittsburghs. All right. So one, two, three, four, five tram for Townsville. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. This is the tram for Agraba, I think. Yep. This one's only going to get four. Tram for Lake Armstrong. One, two, three, four, five, and this is the tram for Emerald City. All right, there they are. our bus lines now do I want to make them go this way or this way I think I think the bus lines are gonna come this direction and this direction and then we'll bring the trains like this and like that Yep, I think so. How are you guys looking? 16 of 100 of 100. Eee. That's something I don't like to see there. Well, it seems that everybody wants to go the other direction. That's okay. Once we actually get everybody hooked up, then uh, there may be more demand. All right, well, let's get it going. We need new route. Emerald City to Lake Armstrong to Dragon Bridge. And then back to Lake Armstrong. That's what. Emerald City to Lake Armstrong to DRB Dragon Bridge.
Road Depot. All right, are we going with the best bosses we have? I think I'm gonna go with five. For the time being, per. So 15 total vehicles. Another line. From here to there. To there. So, ICB. Townsville. To... Agraba. To... Um, was this ELD? I think that was ELD. Now let's grab those road depots. Let's see. That's the tram. Where is your road depot? There it is. I'm gonna do the same thing. 15 vehicles. Should have been set to that one. Unable to find path to stop. What? Unable to find path to stop. Do you not have a path to one of our stops from there? Let's demolish it, because that's weird. Road Depot, right? Uh, maybe I'll put you... Maybe I'll put you there. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And you get put on that line. 
There we go. Okay. I have no idea what's going on there, but that's working. All right. So there we go. That's all set up. So now, passenger trains. Well, yeah, we're in profit for the year. Let's see, I spent $88 million on new vehicles last year. All those uh, upgrades. Yep, 21 million in construction, then 43 million in new vehicles, then 88 million in new vehicles. So I may need to let things run for a little bit just to uh, just to get some money back into the system. But we still have 150 million in the bank. That's that's plenty. Um, That is definitely plenty. All right, so I think we'll begin planning a passenger train from Ulda to Agraba to Lake Armstrong. It's going to be the first that we're going to do here. Speaking of, how old are you? 28 years. Okay, so they're getting up there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a third terminal here. It's going to demolish a building, but, you know, so be it. And these cities are starting to come along. As we can take a look. What's our most populous city at the moment? Uh, Randgrees is at 1,337 people. It would actually make some sense that that would become one of our largest cities. It's situated in a very good area. Probably want to get some port facilities built there to maybe do some uh, ferries to Limsa. That would not be a bad idea. Shopping facilities, our largest shopping commercial area is on High Charity. And our biggest industrial city is Dol Goldor. So that's interesting. Now, the other thing I want to take a look at at some point is to see if our adjustments for coal are meaning that more coal is being shunted to the steel. See, I don't not know why it's just not filling this whole station up with coal. All right, but back to the project at hand. Is we need to get a train out to Agrabah. And this isn't exactly the flattest train in the world. This is a fairly, fairly hilly area of the map. So... thought would be to kind of come through here. I would have to adjust this bridge. But I think that's what we're going to have to do here. So we're going to have to I'm gonna pause. I'm going to remove 
that stuff. Sorry, guys, but you're a bit in the way at the moment. I will want to make sure that the city is still encouraged to develop on the other side of the tracks. But, um, yeah, we're going to need... I need some room here. Uh, do I want to electrify? I don't think I want to electrify. I'm still I'm just still sticking with steam for now. Because although we do have some electric trains, we don't have anything that's really good for passengers at the moment. And we're still in the age of steam. Alright, so we're gonna have to do like a pretty wide sweep here. If I wanna maintain a high speed. 290. We don't have anything that goes this fast yet, so, um, you know, at 260, I think, it's about as low as I'd want to go. So, there we are. And then we can head in that direction, so they get a station in there somewhere. We'll figure out where that's going to go. And for here, bridge pillar collision. I think if there are any place where I should go pillarless, it's here. But even still, it it, it counts that there's pillars there, even though we can't see them. Hmm. If we come a little bit higher, it works. All right. Now I think I'm going to use this pillarless number because there actually are some decorative pillar um, abutments we can put in there. So I'm going to try and do that. We're just going to leave it like that for the moment, because I'm going to work with that off screen, because I don't know how that's all going to work. Alright, and in the meantime, I'm going to just throw in some road. Because we're about the end of the episode here. Um, I'm going to throw in some road through here. I didn't necessarily want to destroy that building, but it wasn't letting me uh, do it any other way. Alright, and that should hopefully have encouraged the city to develop on the other side of the tracks. Maybe? Maybe not. It cost me 1.3 million to demolish that building? Ouch. But I want to do it. Because I should hopefully encourage development along that particular road. We'll see. All right, but we're at the end of the end of the episode here. Ah, LMS Coronation 462 Wartime Black. 
And BR52 Kriegslock. Twin Coach 44S. That's a new bus. Alright. So yeah, we'll end things here. And then we'll see where we end up. Alright, well, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.